So today we're going to be going over how you can make your own flasher with some CDs, rubber, mono, and a weight. From what we hear from other Spiros, this is very effective. Uh, we've seen plenty of other Spiros catch some really big fish with one of these flashers or using one of these. And um, no luck for us, but we tried it out. You can see by the video that it's very, very effective, very bright. And uh, let's see how it's done so you can make your own right at home. All right, so pretty much what's in the video is a homemade CD flasher. And as you can see in the video, it's pretty bright. It's really reflective. Just want to show you how we do that real quick. And uh, this is his first edition, my dive buddy. Uh, we got this recommendation from some other Spiros um, in the local area. But pretty much what it is, is a 16 mil spear gun rubber, two CDs, some mono that goes through it, the other side, a weight, in this case it's a two ounce weight. Uh, we found that two ounces, um, it's a good speed, it's pretty slow, uh, but you can, I would say, go up to three, depending on how much length your rubber you're using, because uh, the rubber is buoyant, but generally speaking, I would say two to three ounces should be fine. Um, and then in this case, he added an extra reflector where the weight was. Right there, as you can see. So yeah, it's super simple. Um, just using some CDs, mono, and um, a weight and some, and some rubber. So this is, how you, this is how you make it. What you'll need, some spear gun rubber, and you want 16 mil, not 14 mil, or any other size. The reason being is that the CD hole is actually perfect for a 16 mil. Um, it's really snug. So once you're in there, I like to twist it in. Once it's in there, you don't need any adhesive or any sort of knot to keep it in there. As you can see, it's not coming out. The likelihood of you, this popping out is pretty low and you're probably gonna break the CD before this, um, it comes out. So 16 mil. Next up, of course, you have your two CDs right here. Um, some scissors, some weights. So in this case, I'm using a three ounce, three ounce weight here. You can pick these up at pretty much any fishing store. Um, I have a clip. You, could, you don't have to use this. You can use like a, like a pretty much a keychain loop, anything like that. That's what I'm gonna be using to attach the weight to the mono. And you don't even necessarily need that. You can attach it directly to the mono, the weight. Just loop the mono in through one of the holes on the weight. Uh, but the downside of this is obviously every time you want to swap out weights, you got to cut the mono, retie it and whatnot. So clip makes it really easy. And in this case, I'm just using 60 pound test, um, some mono here. You can pretty much use anything, not too light, but anything heavier than I think 30 pounds is more than enough. So let's get started. So what we're going to do first is grab our rubber right here. And what we're going to do is feed the mono through one side of the rubber and push it all the way through until it comes out on the other end. And my version is going to be a little bit different from my buddies. I think it's a little simpler. Um, I'm going to try it out. So once you have it come out on the other side, like so, we're going to feed it back into where it came out of. So you're cr creating a loop on one side. Actually, before we do that, we're going to add the clip if you want or a keychain loop. I guess if you have a keychain loop you can add it later but for me I'm using that clip so I added it in there and I'm gonna feed the loop back into where it came out. So I have it all the way through. Make sure you don't lose this loop on one side and give yourself a little bit more slack on the other end so you can tie a knot. Once you have some good length you're gonna cut the mono and then you're done with the mono essentially for this project and now so one side we have a clip a little loop coming out of one end and on this side we have two open ends of mono that we're going to need to tie um, you can use pretty much any knot i'm just going to use a very simple knot here run the run the mono parallel to each other use your finger create one loop it through itself. Then you're gonna do it again. That should be good enough. So you're gonna pull it tight as best you can. This is where the pliers come in if you if you need them. You're gonna pull it tight. Should be good. And 
After that, we're gonna use the scissors to cut off the excess. Perfect. So now we have our basic, essentially, basic flasher right here, or at least the, fun, the foundations of it. So we have, again, our rubber, and we have two loops now, one on this side, one on the other side, one has the clip, as you can see here. All right, next up, we're gonna put our CDs. In, my, in this case, I'm gonna point them straight up as my spear, spear buddy has done. Um, and when you put them in, it's gonna be a snug fit, so I like to twist and squeeze as I do so. Put the top one in, now the bottom. Obviously feed the mono through the hole, of the CD. And then now we're gonna twist the rubber through the CD hole. And we're pretty much set here. Um, and the next up, obviously put our weight in. In this case, I have the snap, so I'm gonna loosen it. Unlock it. Put in my weight. Snap it back. Together. And that is all she wrote right there. So just like that, replicated essentially what my buddy did. Um, so you might be wondering, how do you actually hold this while you're diving? Where you can put this is on your fish stringer. Um, pretty much have this loop through the fish stringer on your belt. And have it done that way. You can hold it with your hand here, or just use it, kind of feed this through your wrist. You can hold it this way, but essentially what you use this for is you drop this, it'll fall slowly, and it'll mimic some um, fish in distress, or kind of get a predator fish and get their attention with this reflective uh, material on the CD. And once you hit a certain point that you're comfortable with, or you're trying to, the depth you're trying to reach, you'll dive down, you'll grab it, and then um, I found that from what other Spiros say, um, it mimics kind of you being a predator and eating or kind of capturing this bait fish or bait CD. And other predators will be curious and they'll come to you and then hopefully by then you have a nice yellow tail on sight and then you can grab it. Unfortunately, no luck for us. So yeah, that's pretty much how you make your own CD flasher. So this is again the first version my buddy made. This is the one we just made. Super simple, we got our weight, got our CDs. Really simple, mono through the rubber. Again, 16 mil is what you're looking for. And yeah, so hope you enjoyed this video. Hopefully it was helpful. Uh, if you have any suggestions or improvements that you think could be made, um, please leave them in the comments below. But thank you for watching, dive safe, and I'll see you on the next one.